We must be absolutely f insane. It's Sunday morning, it's early, um, there's been a bit of a change of temperature the past couple of days, autumn's here, leaves on the ground, the warm clothes are looked out, so we've decided to go for a swim in the Firth of Forth. <laughs> So if you've seen some of our previous vlogs, we've done some wild swimming before um, the last time was up in Iona um, when we decided to go in without suits. I'm not sure we're going to do that today. The thing about wild swimming is it's kind of worth it after you've done it but beforehand there's lots of dread and anticipation and um, because it's a bit colder, because it's autumn, we're both definitely feeling that today. <laughs> It's been a while since we have done some wild swimming and we purchased these wetsuits last year so we thought it's about time we started to make use of them again. So we have come to South Queensferry. We're walking to a little kind of beachy bit that we visited before. We didn't go swimming though well, uh, that time. Uh, we're hoping it's going to be quiet and we're hoping it's not going to be too cold but I think it is. We've got a little reward for afterwards because I've booked us into a place for brunch which looks really nice from the pictures. So I'm really looking forward to that because I'm a bit hungry already. Um, this is quite a walk actually from where we parked. I forgot that it's actually within the Dalmeny estate. Um, so. I'm getting pretty warm now because I've got my wetsuit on but underneath my wetsuit I've got my swimsuit more just because it's easier when I come out to get changed if that's on but because I am actually getting quite warm because we're walking quite fast I am thinking could I potentially do this without the wetsuit? I'm not sure we'll see once we get there and how brave <laughs> I'm feeling <laughs> what I had anticipated as the backdrop. Hmm. Do you think that's going to be like pumping out lots of chemicals? <laughs> I, I think that's maybe not what they're doing. I don't think they're allowed to do that. This is a good place I suppose in terms of just... This bit? Yeah, I mean it's as good as any but I just not really... I mean you could go further on but... Do you want to go a bit further on? We're going to go just slightly further away just so that we're a wee bit further from that What would you call that? Ship? Jeez, oh, I'm sweating now I really am I'm hot and bothered <laughs> So the manager said to me that She's going to go in without the wetsuit. Well, I said I think. <laughs> that means I have to go in without the wetsuit. God, I was really warm under that wetsuit. I. Uh... Shit, we must be absolutely f insane. <laughs> oh, I'm really hoping that it's like the last time we did this and that after a couple of minutes we get really warm I really hope it's like that So here we go, no wetsuit I'm scared, I'm scared I'm 
and my body's gone a bit numb. I don't really feel hot yet, like I did when we went swimming in Iona. Um, I just feel a bit numb. Uh, it's actually really shallow at this bit, but I'm kind of scared to go too far out sometimes because you just never know what the currents are doing. So I'm quite happy to just kind of stay close to the shore um, and do a little bit of swimming. But I'm really proud of myself that I managed to do it without the wetsuit. We did say we would try and do this every week, but we haven't at all. Uh, but I kind of want to because it just picks you up, picks your spirit up, and you know, sets you up for the day really, gets you in a good positive frame of mind. It's all good. I'm a bit cold now. Ah, it's really sludgy as well underfoot. <laughs> that was great though, I'm glad. I'm really glad that we did that, but now I have to get dry. <laughs> ah, I wish I'd brought a wee uh, hot water bottle, that was the only thing that I forgot. Well, I did think about it and then just didn't. But yeah, this is really nice and cosy. <sighs> we did it! That was brilliant and I'm really glad we did it. Um, we're just walking back now to have our brunch. Uh, but I guess if you've been following us for a while or you've been watching any of our other vlogs, you'll know that we have had a hard time um, over the last few years going through infertility and IVF and we're coming to the end of that journey. Um, we're still not entirely sure what the outcome is going to be, but doing things like we did today just really lifts our spirits and kind of just makes us feel like, you know what, life will be okay, regardless of whether we have a baby or not. And we're determined to make the most of this life that we have. Um, and doing things like going wild swimming just makes us feel alive and makes us feel happy, which is really important when you're going through something like this. We're here and I'm so hungry and the menu looks so good, so I hope it doesn't disappoint us. So I have ordered their signature hot chocolate which comes with like molten marshmallow on the top and to eat I've ordered banana biscoff pancakes so I mean no there's no kind of um, what's the word uh, attempt at healthiness yeah and there's no calorie counting at this breakfast this is just we're going all out we're just doing it I have ordered a full Scottish breakfast with a poached egg yes and a milkshake a Ferrero Rocher milkshake and I'll get a coffee afterwards I feel like that we're kind of, we've earned it. That's amazing. And I'm just going to jump into that. Although I made the Bingham Gym, which is an actual fitness gym that we set up for hardcore kids. So you can do it as hard as My Bob. That is to die for. The biscuit gives a really nice taste. But the sauce is amazing, the pancakes are great. The banana's lovely. I'm in food heaven right now. It's not taken me long to work my way through this place nearly empty. Oh, I can feel my stomach getting full. But it's so, so good. Wow. 
Also, they do um, French toast. And you can have vegan French toast. This is good to know for the vegans out there. You and tells me I've got marshmallow on my face. Just there. <laughs> <laughs> it does get everywhere, that drink. So it's messy. And um, I couldn't actually finish all the marshmallow, but you and helped me. Of course. Yeah, my blood sugar level right now must be through the roof. <laughs> well, if you like sweet treats and you're visiting South Queensferry, I definitely recommend paying a visit to that place, the Little Bakery. It was really busy when we were there, so I'm really glad that we booked a table because a lot of people got turned away. Um, but yeah, it was super tasty and I'm really glad we visited. Thanks as always for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, then please do consider giving us a thumbs up and also subscribing to our channel. It would mean so, so much to us if you were to subscribe. It's totally free of charge. Um, you could also hit the bell button, uh, the bell icon to be notified of future vlogs. But we do bring vlogs out every single Friday and we are hopefully going to be going on more travels very soon. We'll be leaving Scotland, fingers crossed. So we've got lots more um, exciting content to bring you.